So Hazel and I are out for a walk. This is the frozen river right by our house. It's snowing now. We're gonna get some more snow. It's actually quite comfortable out today. It's 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Feels like a heat wave after the way it's been. Nice out for us for this time of year. And if I wasn't already committed to do a spin class this afternoon, which I haven't done too much of before, I'd definitely run. Because it just feels so nice to be outside and it's not bitterly cold. It's just barely freezing. So, anyway. I feel good today. I feel really happy, even though it's so bloody gross out. But what are you going to do? Life is good. That's the truth. And Hazel's the sweetest dog in the world. Show you Hazel. Come on. Oh, yeah, I know what you think. Come on, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Good girl. Good girl. So disgusting to snow. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, you think it's time for a treat? Alrighty. One more baby. I know. Good girl. There's Mama's baby girl. Okay, here you go. Okay. Come on. So I'm getting ready for a spin class. I, I think I've done two in the last five years, and they're okay. But um, I was at work today, and on Thursdays, I oh, Greg's going to complain about that light. <laughs> I um, on Thursdays I work from 6 a.m. to noon. So and we have on Thursdays we also have a farmers market at work, which is really cool. So I had this big bag of produce, and I had my gym stuff in the car. I was going to go run on the treadmill straight from work, and I was sort of saying out loud, "Should I'm trying to figure out how to do... I don't, didn't want to come home first, but I didn't want my produce to be in the car in 28 degrees outside for an hour or so. And um, so she said... Uh, she teaches spin. She said, well, why don't you go home, put your groceries away, chill for a while, and then come to meet me at the gym this afternoon for my spin class. I'd love it if you took it. And she said, you can eat one of these donuts before you spin. And I said, well, first of all, I wouldn't eat donuts, but um, I'm a vegan, and I'm pretty sure there's some animal somewhere in that donut. And she had no idea I was a vegan, which was interesting, because most of the people I work with know. So we kind of talked about that, and I thought, all right, I'm going to take your spin class, because you think you're going to whip my ass, and I'm thinking you might not. Um, and also, we may have some more conversations about veganism. So I'm kind of optimistic. I think it should be fun. Um, I know I'll sweat. I know I'll get a good workout. Whether I enjoy it as much as running, we'll see. It's been a while. So anyway, I'll let you know. Take so I'm home from my spin class, and um, I'm glad I went. I, I admit that it was when I left the house to go, it was really nice out, and I had that, oh, damn it, I just want to run. It's beautiful out. It's going to snow again. The roads will get slippery again. And I mean it. We're getting another big storm on the way. So I had to kind of focus on the fact that I committed to doing it and that I, um, you know, this may lead to a meaningful conversation with this young woman who just found out I was a vegan today. So that's sort of in her mind. Um, the class was 45 minutes long and it was, um, to music, which was great. I love to work out to music. It was, um, there were probably 15 people in the class. They, they, they turned down the lights and turn up the fan. So it was pretty comfortable, except the bike was, I don't know, I, I, the bike was okay. My bike has a soft seat, so I had to kind of adjust to that. But, um, you know, the, it, was, it was fine. Uh, the, the instructor was shouting a bit. So after about 15 minutes, I, I sort of wanted to kill her. And I, I was grumpy about the fact that I was going to be in there for 45 minutes. And then after about 20 minutes, I sort of said, Georgia, get over yourself. Just do it. This is, you know, you're working. You might, you might as well get your head into this and really maximize the workout. And, um, so it was okay. It was good. I, I had plenty of, plenty of endurance to do it. It's certainly, it was a good workout, but certainly no harder than anything that I put, um, my, you know, put out for myself to do when I go to the, to the gym myself. Um, 
I'm kind of looking forward to the conversation that I have with her afterward because I think she was really surprised given the fact that I haven't taken a spin, spin class. I think she thought she was going to kick my ass and I was, I was keeping up with everybody. And, um, and I'm hoping that we have a conversation about endurance because I really want to encourage her to try giving up animal products. And one of the things that I've found is that many people say, when they find out you're a vegan, they say, oh, I could, you know, I, I don't think I could be a vegan. I think I could be a vegetarian, but I don't think I could give up dairy. And my feeling is if you work out, give up dairy first. It, it, you know, challenge people to give up dairy for a week because that is the thing. When you give that up, your performance changes completely. And, and um, it's so dramatic that what you give that up, giving up everything else, I think, is easy once you realize that, you know, that, that it's having that impact on your endurance and your recovery. So anyway, it'll be interesting to see where it leads. Would I take another spin class? Maybe. I mean, that to me, having done it, uh, that would be a fun thing to do with a bunch of girlfriends more than just sitting in there, you know, with a bunch of people I don't know and an instructor who's screaming at me. I, I, I definitely could have used someone to make faces at in there. Um, but it was fun and I'm glad I did it. Uh, I came home and had a, had a wonderful bowl of, I, after, after I did it, it was hot in there and I went over to the park and sort of sat and watched the some kids play in the snow and it was just a beautiful late afternoon the, the no wind the the light was softening and it was really kind of a sweet way to end it and uh, i came home and had a nice bowl of warm mashed potatoes mashed just with vegetable broth no fat and uh there were it was fabulous so now i'm gonna get cleaned up and greg will be home and we'll have dinner together so it's been a really nice day and uh, even though there was an early start and i'm glad i did something new and was it my favorite workout? No, but as Greg and I always say, a lousy workout, any workout is better than no workout. And it certainly wasn't a lousy one. It was, it was interesting. Um, so always good to get your body moving. You always feel better after you've done it. So I'm glad I did it. So now Greg's home from his workout and we're gonna have, um, we're gonna make dinner tonight. We're gonna have zoodles. I made a big, huge pile of zoodles with mushrooms and tomato sauce, and um, it's going to be a fabulous meal post-workout, and we're going to have a nice evening together. So, okay, I did... I'm taking these off. Okay. Sorry. Glasses off, everyone. Okay. So, I, Greg and I just had a really wonderful dinner with very simple, with yeah. zoodles and mushrooms zoodles and tomato sauce, and um, I just shared some moments of what turned out to be a really great day, and I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I did. It was fun watching it. I mean, I, <laughs> I, I, I just watched it all with her. So. so anyway, if you like to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, that's okay. And uh, just come back tomorrow yeah. and try again. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Thanks. And thank you also for the other people who are doing one bit a day for just some incredibly inspiring and fun videos we've really yeah. loved them so thank you so much absolutely we've enjoyed it yeah it's been yeah, great good. it's been great it's really sometimes the vegan community locally can feel very um isolated and small so you've you've just made our world bigger and better and we thank you for it absolutely all right good yeah all right have a great night thanks thank you